Well, hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So now all the money is being spent, all the offers, well not all of them, but some of them have been gotten and it's time to do some rank ups because quite frankly, I am absolutely terrified to step in battlegrounds before I decide on who I rank up because I have a feeling that everybody is going to be walking around with like 15 rank 5s and rank 2s and whatnot. So uh, today, we are going to be taking up my first ever rank 2 7 stars. And I do think I have three specific ones in mind at the moment. Obviously, you know, in future, I might end up taking somebody else. But uh, truth be told, I did not have the best luck opening my 7 star crystals. And uh, not much changed aside from the dupe on Killmonger. And with this, yeah. We are taking up this guy for sure. So Killmonger is going to be my first ever rank two seven star. He is single duped, but hopefully that will be enough combined with that massive, healthy, helpful and critical resistance and everything else. And uh, I have faced some seven star Killmongers in uh, Battlegrounds and it is not a fun time. I know that firsthand, therefore I do feel somewhat more confident with this rank up. Obviously, Killmonger will also be a solid alliance war defense rank up. And uh, as far as it goes to using Killmonger offensively, with some synergies, he can be quite cool. But, you know, let's face it, he's not offensively the most capable champion, at the very least, in terms of speed. In terms of utility and access to true strike and counter punch, there are some cool things about him. I have always liked Killmonger. I just wished he was a bit faster especially for Balgrunt. but now that time matters less and remaining helpful metals more you know uh we might actually get to use killmonger on offense so here we go our very first rank two seven star now we need to go to catalysts and claim a bunch more of those and then take my second seven star all the way up to rank two and that is going to be america Chavez. Now, I absolutely love this lady. She has been completely and utterly phenomenal for me. And I really do want to dupe her. I really, really wish to get dupe on America Chavez. But even unduped, there is no doubt that she is one of my best 7 star champions. And that's why America Chavez is going up to rank 2. And I can't wait to see how fast she can nuke some Balgrounds fights now. For sure. And yeah. So this is going to be my second 7 star, rank 2. Da -da 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 -da. And how many more we need? They are quite gold hungry, aren't they? I have a feeling that uh, when I'm done with all the rank ups, I might dip below 100 million gold for like the first time in forever. Uh, but. Whilst we still do have that gold, I wonder if I'll have enough ISO. Hopefully. Anyways, now we have a rank 2 America Chavez. Can't wait to play around with these. So, America Chavez actually, with Recall Mastery, has higher PI than Killmonger. And then, and then, and then, and then, obviously, we need to claim some catalysts yet again, because the amount that you can hold in your stash is absolutely abysmal. But we're also going to be taking up my Hulk, because Hulk's been doing well. I have been enjoying using Hulk, and uh, yeah, I think that's fair. So Hulk is also going up to rank 2 as a 7 star. So those are like the three best 7 stars that I have at the moment as well. And yeah, in my head, it kind of makes sense to rank these up as well. And obviously, because they're 7 stars, and every single one of them obviously is also... Uh, kind of like Balgron centric rank ups primarily. Uh, because every single one of those three champions, Killmonger, very, very good Balgron's defender, Hulk, and absolute Balgron's nuke that I can't wait to play around with right now, uh, now that he's ranked two. And Chavez is good both for offense and defense. And yeah, so there's a very, very good reason to take that up. Also, also, I think I will be taking up uh, 
couple champions to rank 5. Do I do it in this video? Well, I think I'll do one big stack to rank 5 for now. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to go to Catalyst and claim these yet again. So now we have three 7 stars at rank 2. Chavez, Killmonger, and Hulk. In future, yeah, that Wong is duped. Maybe he goes to rank 2. Silver Surfer definitely will go to rank 2 if I can double dupe him. Then there's Gore, and if I can dupe Domino, I'd love to rank up the Domino. And yeah, the rest of it kind of depends what I pull. Now when it comes to 6 stars, there's a champion that I have currently at rank 3. That uh, is going to go to rank 5, and that's also going to be... Well, it's going to be because of Alliance War and Battlegrounds. And uh, can you feel relatively easy about taking this champion up? Because he, Jessica Jones obviously is one of the exclusive champions. I highly doubt we will see 7 star Jessica Jones anytime, you know, super soon. I know that we will eventually, but I don't think it's going to happen, like, immediately. So she's going to go straight from rank 3 to rank 5. There's actually a very cool video that I'm planning to make with Jessica Jones because not a lot of people know that there is one mastery that helps her tremendously and makes her much, much, much more viable on offense as well. The problem is, you know, you don't necessarily always want to run that mastery. But who knows, I might change my mind, perhaps specifically because of Jessica Jones. Right? Okay, so, level 54 now. And now she's rank 4. Obviously, we need to get her up to rank 5. And in order to do that, I think I have a science gem. If not, we're going to go and try and get one. Yes, there we go. We have a science rank up gem that I will gladly use on Jessica because I do not have enough science catalysts right at this moment. And that's solid. And this is going to be maxed out Jessica Jones. And besides, she's probably going to be a very, very, very good, good ban hunter in Battlegrounds. Because uh, if you see Jessica Jones, well, she often gets banned as is. I know because I used to ban Jessica Jones quite a lot. Now that she's going to be rank 5, I highly suspect that quite often she's going to end up getting banned. I think, anyways. Right. Now, here we go. We have baby Jessica. Do I want to rank up anybody else? Like, really, really? I'm sure I do. It's just so hard to choose. <laughs> I will definitely be doing a bunch of rank 4s as well. But here we go. Jessica. Well, the easiest champions that I definitely want to take to rank 4 pretty much immediately is, well, Danny Moonstar. Because with Danny Moonstar, well, I grinded for her. I just got her. She is quite cool. I did want to take her to rank 4. But uh, previously, I just didn't quite have enough tier 6 basics and tier 3 alphas. And now that we do have these rank up gems, I figured I'm just going to go ahead and rank up Danny Moonstar. And uh, probably a very long over... Oh, wait, a Tuma also needs to go up because I might end up taking a Tuma to rank 5 even, but definitely to rank 4. Because a Tuma is a very nasty defender now. <laughs> he really, really is. Okay, so first let's finish up with a rank 4 Danny Moonstar. And... Yeah, I would have taken her to rank 4 eventually. Maybe I will end up taking her to rank 5 because she does have, you know, high prestige as well. Which isn't bad. And uh, she's she's not like broken, but she's quite cool. And I do quite like her. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Rank 5, Danny? Because there aren't that many mutants that I'm like super eager to rank up. So that was one of the champions I definitely want to take up. Another two champions that I definitely want to go up, somewhat at least, is Atuma. I think Atuma is going to be the new hot thing in uh, Balgrounds on defense because of his damage reflection and uh, how it can be quite tricky and the fact that you can't really parry stun him can make him quite an annoying defender. So Atuma is definitely at the very least rank 4. I'll 
probably taking trunk five sooner than later. Who knows? Who knows? But let's get that sorted. And I also wanted to do a very, very, very overdue rank four, which is Shang Chi. Shang Chi is one of those champions that uh, I don't use as often as I should because I have never taken him trunk four. But I recognize quite a few matches or instances when. You know, grabbing Shang Chi could have been beneficial for me, and it's it's just one of those rank ups where I always think it would be nice, but then something else happens. Like you think I would rank up Shang Chi, but then it turns out Atuma is crazy defender. Now I would want to rank up something, something, but then something else. So we're gonna take Shang Chi to rank four with you know slight delay, but we do have rank four Shang Chi now. As for the rest of the rank ups, I think I still need to think a little bit. I will be doing some more. I'm not sure if I'll cover it in a video specifically, but I will be doing an account tour video quite soon. So you guys are going to see the results there for sure, which are going to be the remaining rank fives that I choose. Because I'm overdue uh, an account tour video. And uh, yeah. Obviously, then you guys will see what I do end up ranking. Uh, so now that I have Shang-Chi rank 4, I'm going to need to edit my Balgrounds there quite heavily with all of these new rank ups like Killmongers and Jessica Joneses and stuff like that. Because obviously, previously, they were not in my Balgrounds deck. Now they will definitely be in it. Okay, so that Shang-Chi is now rank 4. Is there anything that absolutely has to go to rank 5? So if I go take a look at my current rank fives. We have nine and three seven. So we have three seven star rank twos and nine rank fives. We can do a several more. Then want to figure out which class probably to focus on. So science we have two skill we have two already. Um, mutant rank five would be nice. Cosmic science tech rank five. Interesting. Who will I take up in a tech class and mystic class? Okay. Okay. So tech and mystic class. Champions, we probably want to take a look at. Here we have Ghost, we have Future Ant Man, we have Nimrod, we have Mega Sentinel as options. I think I want to do Future Ant Man to rank 5. I'm quite sure. Do I have a tech gem? I mean, there's Nimrod, Future Ant Man, and Warlock. Def and, and, you know, Ghost possibly too, but. Which one? And then in Mystic Class. We have Juggernaut, we have Rintra. Do I take up the Juggernaut? That would be such a filthy rank up. Because I do want to take up several Mystic Champions, but do I take up. Because it's Tiger, Juggernaut, Rintra, and Absorbing Man as the most potential candidates. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. I do have a mystic rank of gem. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't care. Jaggy has to, he has to go up, right? And I need strength in my defense too, but Juggy. Yeah, all right, let's go Juggy. Let's go, let's go Jugger boy. Let let let's go Jugger boy. He's one of my he's he's probably my favorite champion in the game right now. I want to rank up Tigra, and I will, but I'm not that good with Tigra. I'm definitely more confident with Juggernaut, and Juggernaut is like one of my faves. So now we, we're going to... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. If we didn't get like as many rank up materials with these offers, I probably would have waited for Juggernaut rank up. But... Uh... Alrighty then. We, we have a rank 5 Juggernaut. That's not half bad. 
I won't see how fast he's going to be in battle guns now. Oh, I'm gonna feel a bit filthy. I'm gonna feel a bit filthy. Such a monster. Oof. I think I also got a freshly duped Juggernaut Relic 5 stars that I need to rank up and give it to this guy. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Look at that big, funky boy. All right. And in tech class, it's gonna be Nimrod Warlock or Future Undefined, right? Nimrod Warlock or Future Undefined. This is a tricky one. Definitely is a tricky one. I can't decide. I can't decide. And in mutant class, Domino, Omega, Red, Bishop, Archangel, Kitty, Pride, Animals. Okay, I need to think on that as well. But right, tech one. Where are the goods? Come on then. What are, we, what are we going to do here? Nimrod, future ant man, warlock. Ooh. I think this is the hardest one to pick here. I am going to go with Nimrod. Or I'm gonna wait because I do not have a tech gem. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll wait a bit. Okay, so we're gonna wait on this one slightly a bit. Uh, right, so where we are? Where we are? Rank five, six stars. We have 10 rank five, six stars. I'll definitely do a few more, which is not too bad. And we will also have rank two, seven stars, which puts us. Bit higher. So America Chavez, Killmonger, and Hulk are my rank two seven stars. And in total that makes it eleven, I believe. Let me know who did you guys end up ranking? And what do you think of rank five Juggernaut coming for you? Or Chavez? Or Killmonger? Or rank five Jessica Jones? What do you think of the choices that I made? Either way, I'm gonna catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about